Today we're going to take a look at some of the client portal features of ChetCherry. Uh, ChetCherry we consider the, the client experience to be one of the most important parts of ChetCherry and so we spend a lot of time uh, making sure it's easy to use for your customers. So for, to start let's log in as a customer. And this customer already has already booked their event. So when they log in, they're going to be taken directly to their event page. So they're going to see the date and time of their event. They're going to see their package and any add-ons they've chosen. They're going to see the venue, um, other contacts, and any notes that you've left on the account. They're also going to see who's, uh, which employees have been assigned to their event, what their outstanding balance is, and if there are any other events uh, that have been assigned to their account, they'll also uh, see these. You also notice that they have permission to edit some of these. Uh, within your admin account, you can configure how much access they have to make these changes. We've also got a few different tabs along the top here. So they've got a designs tab. And so if you choose to allow your customers to choose, say, a photo booth template, they can do that. So let's select a template. Um, I'm going to choose this one and say yes I want this one and great I get a confirmation message uh, the customer doesn't need to re-enter their information because we already have it uh, similarly I can come as a customer I can go over here to forms and I can complete a, a pre-event questionnaire so you know you can set up whatever questions you want for these and when they're done they can click finalize and lock to submit that to you the customer can go to the make a payment page and they can enter either the full amount or a partial amount. They can also choose to leave a tip. They can come to go to the invoice tab to uh, view or download a copy of their invoice. And you'll notice their invoice also has a copy of their full contract that they agreed to. And finally, your customers have an attachments tab. From here, they can upload any documents that they have uh, that you might need and vice versa. You'll also notice along the top, your customer has a few other tabs. They have a home. That's going to take them to your website, whatever that is. They have a dashboard. And their dashboard is basically just an overview of any upcoming events they have. Here they can see their profile. They can edit their information. and they can access any documents that you've chosen to provide. So if you um, commonly get asked for a proof of insurance or things like W-9s, you, um, you can upload those and your customers will see them right here. Similarly, your customers can hit the Documents tab and see all of these downloadable documents in one place. And then they can go to the My Profile tab to make uh, changes to their name, uh, if they have a company name, maybe they want to put that in there, their phone number, and optionally they can upload a photo. And lastly, your customers have a book online button, so they can book their next event with you. Now let's assume our client has multiple events. So I'm going to sign out and then sign back in here. And notice that the client has two upcoming events, one for August 8th and one for June 8th. Uh, because they have multiple events, we're, we'll take them directly to the dashboard where they can see all of their events in one place. If they only have a single event, then they'll just be taken directly to that event when they log in. And your customer can click to see the details for an event. And once they go to the event, they'll have um, a link to make their payment and a prompt uh, prompting them to provide the signature if either of those items are necessary. At the bottom of each of their pages, they also have a way to share a link to a page. And so if the customer were to send this link to a family member, uh, that family member could make a payment on behalf of them without needing to log in. And that's the customer experience. But up until now, we've been assuming that the customer already has an account. How does the customer initially get on the account? Let's take a look. The first way a customer might create their account is by going through the booking process. So as the customer goes through the self-checkout uh, self process, they're going to enter their name, their email, and their phone. 
We'll also get their event date, uh, start time, and how long the event's going to last. And you'll notice that everything is being, the total is being um, calculated in real time as they make changes. So if they select fewer hours, it will update the package price right there. If you choose to, um, if you require photo booth backdrops, they can choose from those. They'll enter their venue name. They'll be presented with different add-ons that you might have. And then when they're ready, they can complete their reservation. And the customer will be presented with the summary of their event. And because my Check Cherry account has the pay with cop cash option enabled, I'm going to check that for now. So my event has been confirmed and the admin will have received an email notification. As a customer now, I have the option to enter my password. And I can even upload a photo. And then finally, I'll see my dashboard of upcoming events and other resources. Now let's take a look at what happens when a customer receives and accepts a proposal. So I'm logged in as the admin account right now, and I'm going to send this to my customer. So let's send it. And now the customer is going to receive an email with the contents of the message you sent. So let's click that link. Now I can see the proposal, confirm that the date and time, the venue location, and the package details are what we discussed. I can see the pricing and see what my initial payment amount is. I can also access a printable version or a PDF version if needed. Now, as a customer, I'm ready to accept the proposal. So let's click accept. And it's going to ask me to confirm my name and my email. So if the admin entered this information already, it'll be pre-filled for me, but maybe somebody else is going to be the one that actually signs for the event. And so I can enter my own custom or a different name here if I need to. I can also choose to pay either the minimum amount or the full event balance. And it will show the final payment due date as well in case I choose that, that partial payment. And so, Again, I have my different payment options here. PayPal, check, and cash are all enabled on this account. So let's choose cash for now. And I can enter my my and I can enter my name. I can read the terms. Click accept. Now that I've accepted the proposal, the admin will receive an email notification. As a customer now, I can choose a password so that I can come back later and manage my event. Once I click Set Password, I'm now taken to an event overview, and I can make additional payments and changes to the event. The final way that you can give your customers access to the portal is to manually assign them to an event. So I'm logged in as, a, as an admin right now, and I'm going to come down here and click Assign a Client. Now I'm going to create a new account for my client. So um, I'll enter their name and click Invite Client. And now as the customer, I can click the link, choose my password, and I'll be taken to my dashboard. I hope that's been a useful overview of the customer experience. Thanks for tuning in.